my god, it's bright right in the landscape. So, uh, I'm gonna take y'all on a little journey of this property here. This property is uh, 14 acres that I cut. And I'm gonna kind of show y'all the scope and everything. So, On a journey, it's a journey, y'all, and I want I can't run the mower all the way up because I can't talk. So we cut all of this all the way to the house there. And you see a little, a little bit of riding here. So we cut all this, and then we cut all of this. See, there's Bo over there on the 72. Uh, I'll get down here cutting this old six though. Look at the look at the lines that Tex Mark laid, y'all. Look at the lines, man. And that nice. He's on the 72. Just knocking that out out right there. Uh, and then we cut. So let me run this line. Uh, let me uh, let me go. Let me show y'all the rest. So you can see, I'm cutting this part right here right now. Cutting. That upper part right there, above the stick line right here. Keep in mind, we done cut all this too. All that you see, all the way to that fence over there. Uh, got to get across this ditch, so uh, I had to, instead of me going around and, and all that, I put some railroad ties, just stuck some railroad ties up right here. It's a block on each end. It's been, this has been here for about uh, six years. Uh, I did that about the second trip I ever came out here. We cut all of that, y'all. All of that. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna run a line as I go back up there. So yeah, y'all. So we cut all of this, y'all. Both sides. It's a lot to cut. I ain't done yet, y'all. I ain't done. Then we just. That ain't even half of it, y'all. We got all this and we detail all that. some footage before I leave today of what the X-Mart uh, Z-Turn 60 inch mower can do. Just, just, just factory mower, nothing, no modification. It's got that Kawasaki engine on it. Got all this, got all this. And I put a mower in there, y'all. I know uh, during the winter time I can't, but right now with the water being down that low, I, and that saves my guy from having to weed eat. Uh, I don't do a lot of spraying around bodies of water, so, but I do spray everywhere else. Like the fence line right here, I spray all the fence lines and everything. Uh, and so yeah, we cut all this, we cut all of this right here. And then you'll see Zach over here on 60 inch right now. We cut this field right here. Uh, <laughs> he's a good guy I like old Zach man he runs the mower pretty good man I try to paint him good keep him a 
we cut that field he's cutting down and we cut this field too so all, all that you can see right here to that fence line right there yeah i spray these fence lines and then we shoot grass from both sides into the fence line on a field like this and that keeps the weed from coming up the weed killer and then the grass the dead grass simply kind of suffocates the ground and you can see where i've been spraying and, and see how the, there's a mound of grass in there on the fence. Now you might not be able to do this on every property, but this is old country pro property, uh, and it doesn't matter. They don't care. So, yeah. Let me help Zach do one line real quick. Well, y'all, this is Ray with Landscaping. I just dropped my buddy off. Man, I tell you, that booze ain't no joke. It really ain't. This guy's having a hard time with it. Uh, I tell you, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> uh, I really, I told him if he was sober tomorrow, he could work. Uh, you know, he helped me with a few lawns. I got a little bit of work tomorrow. Uh, of course, you can't let a guy like that mess up what you already got going with the other two guys so you gotta kind of just uh let him work as needed uh but you know it's been three four weeks since i seen him and uh he's in a 28 day program he came out and he's uh, and he left today against doctor's orders so of course he done started drinking again so yeah I don't know, you know. Uh, I hate it for him. Uh, I don't know exactly what, uh, you know, what he's going to do. But I'll let it work tomorrow as long as he ain't drinking. You know, he don't get to drink and work. I don't do that, you know. So he'll have to, and he'll have to get a ride to work, and he'll have to text me in the morning and let me know that he's going to work. Uh, so he has to jump through a few hoops. But you get him out here on these jobs, he's a great worker, you know. It, it, you know, uh, I mean, he's just a good worker. He knows exactly what to do. Uh, he's, he's done all these properties and yards with me at some point in time. So, yeah, he's a good worker. Anyway, I'll get some video tomorrow when we're working. This is Ray signing off. Peace out. See, when you got a guy working for you, look, my guy... He just left his blower, you know, right behind him, the owner's truck. That's a good way to get the blower uh, ran over, you know. Uh, yeah, he's going to lay the weed in. Hope he don't have to leave. I hope he don't run over none of that stuff. You should never lay nothing behind a vehicle, dude. Then why would you put anything behind a vehicle? That's smart ass, too. Saying, I don't understand why you put up. I mean, you're just setting yourself up for failure. Anyway, that's what happens when you got stupid health, man. And my health, man, I, I'm gonna have to upgrade my health. I don't need to upgrade no equipment, y'all. I need to upgrade my damn health.